Do you still have eyes on that, the rest of that herd? At 10-4. Sweet. 7051. With military like precision, the Wildlife Contracts Branch of the Arizona Game and Fish Department spent several days in November of 2012 locating, capturing, collaring, and releasing desert bighorn sheep that live along the Highway 93 corridor. Back in the 1990s, Arizona Game and Fish Department began working with ADOT and Federal Highways Administration and various partners to uh, evaluate uh, how to deal with the sheep vehicle collisions and sheep permeability. In 2004, research began to really look at uh, how the sheep were moving along the highway. That research combined with the Arizona Department of Transportation's plan to widen this portion of Highway 93 resulted in the first ever overpasses built specifically for wildlife in Arizona. The Black Mountain sheep herd is one of the largest herds in the southwest and it's important to Arizona both for recreation, transplants, and and just keeping the herd healthy as a whole. And so keeping this, this population connected across Highway 93 was very important. The three overpasses opened in 2011 and motion sensor cameras soon began capturing video of sheep safely making their way over the highway. Now a year later, the Wildlife Contracts Branch is back for a post-construction evaluation to see how much the animals are using the overpasses or if they're finding alternative ways to cross the highway. There's three ways that we're evaluating this project. We're looking at wildlife movements with GPS collars, we're looking at use of the overpasses with cameras, and we're looking at the wildlife vehicle collision rates. So far what we've seen with the cameras has been very successful. We've seen over a thousand uh, bighorn sheep cross at the three overpasses that have been built, and that's a big advantage with these overpasses versus the underpasses over on, on State Route 68 we only saw around 32 animals cross State Route 68 using the underpasses and that allowed us to give the uh, data behind selecting overpasses instead of underpasses so they've been very, very successful so far and as far as the, the wildlife vehicle collision rate we've seen it drop um, quite a bit from before the construction began. For this evaluation, they plan to fit 38 sheep with GPS collars. The collaring process begins when spotters locate a sheep herd and then contact the base station. 10-4, um, we'll, uh, we'll try and get some eyes on them from here. Coordinators from the base station then send up a fixed wing plane to keep an eye on the herd Just off my right wing tip. until the helicopter arrives and the net gunner can single out a specific sheep that he wants to capture. You know, we're pretty comfortable, the net gunners we have are pretty experienced. We're pretty comfortable with hanging out of the helicopter. We have uh, our harness on here that is tethered to the inside of the ship. Um, we, are, we would be wearing the seat belt as well. So when you're hanging out, you're actually up against the tension of the harness. And so you're held in there pretty good. And when the ship is moving around, um, following the animals, you really are part of the ship at that point. Um, bracing with your feet on the skids and the tether in, inside the helicopter. And so uh, it wouldn't be something that if you were afraid of heights you'd want to do, but um, actually you feel pretty safe and, and, uh, and comfortable inside the helicopter. Once the sheep is secured in the net, the helicopter lands and the crew is able to attach the GPS collar. They also take blood samples and check out the sheep's general health and then let it go. What we do for Wildlife Contracts Branch is various highway projects where we look at wildlife movements across the road. In the case of Highway 93, we were able to actually see it all the way through the process where we've identified where structures should go with wildlife movement studies. Those projects have been built and now we're evaluating them. We also have been doing this on, in other parts of the states including along State Route 260, State Route 64, US Highway 89, Interstate 17, Interstate 40, and various other highways to where we feel we can make a difference for wildlife getting safely across the road. The Arizona Game and Fish Department's Wildlife Contracts Branch is a new and innovative model of wildlife conservation, offering unique services to help conserve, restore, and manage Arizona's natural resources.